Migraine is a chronic and potentially debilitating neurological disease that is characterized by episodic attacks that are often incapacitating. My name is Dr. Susan Hutchinson. I'm a headache specialist and family practice physician and the director of the Orange County Migraine and Headache Center in Irvine, California. In this video, I would like to tell you about a new paper from me and my co-authors published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings titled, Characterization of Acute Prescription Migraine Medication Use results from the CAMEO study. Migraine can be highly disabling and has been ranked as the second leading cause of years lived with disability worldwide. The burden of migraine varies from person to person and depends on a number of variables, including attack frequency, attack severity, associated symptoms, and associated comorbidities. Despite numerous approved treatment options, many people with migraine report dissatisfaction in their acute treatment. Acute treatment options often fail to meet primary treatment goals, which can reduce adherence to treatment and increase the risk of disease progression. Because of these factors, many individuals report discontinuing medication, switching treatments, or adding additional medication in the hopes of finding an effective, tolerable management strategy. The Chronic Migraine Epidemiology and Outcome, also known as CAMEO study, it's a longitudinal study that used a series of web-based surveys over 15 months to assess migraine symptoms, burden, and patterns of healthcare utilization among people in the U.S. population. In this cross-sectional analysis of data from the CAMEO study, we sought to characterize migraine-related burden and acute medication use patterns in a sample of 13,624 people with migraine. This analysis of the CAMEO data characterized study respondents as those who self-reported currently using, discontinued, or never used acute prescription medication for migraine. Demographics, migraine-related disability, quality of life, and psychiatric comorbidity profiles were evaluated to gain insight into factors influencing inadequate management of migraine attacks. Our analysis of CAMEO responders found that 64.5% of people with migraine reported having never used acute prescription medication. 22.9% reported currently treating their attacks with acute medication. And 12.6% reported that they discontinued use, meaning they previously had experience with acute prescription medication, but they weren't currently having that on hand for treating migraine attacks. Perhaps not surprisingly, respondents who never used acute prescription medication were younger, more likely to be male, and reported less migraine be burden than those who had currently or discontinued use. Overall, migraine-related disability was greatest in those currently using acute prescription medication for migraine. 15.5% of current users reported that they experienced 15 or more headache days per month and only 10.7 reported that they were able to work and function normally as a usual effect of their treatment. Although disability was lowest in those who reported never using an acute prescription medication, these respondents did exhibit meaningful migraine-related burden, suggesting a significant level of unmet need in this never-use subgroup. 28.8% of never users reported severe migraine disability, and 12% reported severity impaired function or a need for rest as a usual effect of their migraine. Despite this burden, when asked to report their reasons for never using acute prescription medication, 53.2% reported their headaches were not that bad, and 30.4% reported that they did not want to take a prescription medication. Discontinued users reported lower levels of disability, depression, and anxiety than current users. However, 33% of discontinued users reported moderate or severe levels of depression, and 30% reported moderate or severe anxiety, suggesting meaningful unmet needs in this population. So the main takeaway, overall our study found that many people who meet the criteria for migraine have discontinued use or have never used acute prescription medication for migraine. These results are particularly surprising given the degree of migraine-related burden in both of these groups. Additionally, there remains a significant migraine-related burden that persists even in those currently using acute prescription medication to treat their attacks. 
Taken together, these results indicate a significant unmet need in the acute treatment of migraine. To help address this unmet need, improvements in existing treatment options and access to health care for migraine are needed. The Chronic Migraine Epidemiology and Outcome Cameo Study is sponsored by Allergan. Thank you for your time. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.